full moon in Taurus. Eclipse, lunar eclipse. November 19th, 2021. Full moon, surrender to the divine. The very word climax brings all sorts of ideas and images to mind. Agreed? But it really is the feeling of this card. Life is coming to a head, a point, a conclusion, or a turning point. There may be some kind of exchange and possibly even some sort of emotional explosion. Tune in your emotions now and see what they're telling you. They're very likely close to the surface. No matter when the moon cycle you pulled this card, matters will soon conclude and you will find out whether or not your wishes are going to come true. The odds are in your favor. As this is a positive card, but you may need to work harder than usual to keep cool as events unfold. Fixed moon, hold your vision. There are two main possibilities with this card. The first is that you need to stand firm in whatever situation you're in. The second, very different interpretation, is that something is stuck. That could well be referring to the situation you're asking about. If that's the case, have you a think about what you're you can do to grease the wheels so the events more move forward. Are you being stubborn? If so, that's great because if you really want things to change, there's a solution. Stop digging your heels in. Be the one to break your deadlock. With two interpretations for this card, it's up to you to decide what's going on and which meaning applies to you. This offers up a chance for some self reflection. Full moon in Taurus, your dreams need a practical plan. Sometimes you need to weave a bit of magic. Sometimes you need to be practical. Sometimes you need to find a combination of the two. This card suggests that it, this is where you are now. You need to use the laws of attraction to draw in what you want. But you need to balance that with taking down to earth steps towards your goals. This isn't about wishing on the moon and hoping for the best. It's about making something look like a list of bullet points about how to achieve your dreams. If you're asking about money, this card heralds a change of financial fortunes, depending on both your past actions and what you're expecting and therefore attracting. Full moon eclipse. Conclusions are within reach. And just like that, a door slams shut. If you pulled this card, it suggests that the situation you're asking about is to reach is about to reach a peak or has just done so, and things are now out of your hands. What you're experiencing now is what your soul signed up for. It's a way for you to learn and for your soul to evolve. So allow events to unfold and be easy on yourself. If you're letting go of someone or something, know that it is the right time. As hard as it might be, forgiving someone for what they did could be a key to resolving the situation in a positive way. It doesn't make it right what they did, but it releases it so you can move on. Queen of the Moon message. Full moon in Taurus, November 19th, 2021. Full moon power. Full moon power. Step into your true power. Shine brightly. Do not hide who and what you are. The time is right to attract big things for yourself. Ancestral energy is important. Open your mind to large possibilities. Big magic can be wrought. I have the power. It is real. Go outside on a clear night and look up. Hopefully you see the stars are twinkling. If you are really lucky, you might see the swirling Milky Way spilling across the darkness. And then there she is, the big full moon. Unmistakable in her glory and power, she moves the earth itself, stabilizes it into orbit. She releases and pulls the seas. She is this object of devotion, the inspiration of poems, the realm of goddesses. And she has witnessed the very first of us rise up on two legs and venerate her. Generation after generation, we have stood barefoot under the same moon, wishing, setting intention, dancing and drawing her graceful power. You are made of very swirling matter that is the stuff of stars. You are a pure possibility, changing constantly, renewing and transforming. Take this moment to recognize that power and rejoice in it. For your next step is the precursor to your future self. 
Painted stone or metal is moonstone. And we got Lilith, so Dark Mirror is going to come up for the Lilith message on this full moon in Taurus, November 19, 2021. And Black Flower Fragrance. Black Flower Fragrance. The world is unfair. Fuck off, dear world. Fuck you. <laughs> a beautiful woman, her face with a hint of resolve, holds a strange black rose on her chest. It seems to explode like a crystal. Each petal an obsidian shard. This just reminds me of Willis. It's crazy. If we want to go dark, go black. Don't stop to the evening. But embrace the night. Love is not a white dove, nor is it, nor it turns people into angels. Love can be ugly, love can be cheap, love can be rotten, but even ugly love has a right to exist. Even cheap love can raise to the sky. Even rotten love has the dignity of eternity. Even a black rose by any other name should still smell as sweet. Even if you are wrong, you still have the right to be angry. Even if you're not perfect, you have the right to be respected. Even if you are stupid, you have the right to be listened to. Even if you are lucky, you have the right to complain. Even if you are rich, you have the right to be sad. If you cannot shine because you are beautiful, then shine even if you are ugly. Shine because you are ugly. Gorgeously black, ugly as love, worn out as an angel, cheap as a crown, unquored, unco unconquered as a fragrance in the night. Azalea message for this full moon in Taurus, November 19, 2021. Thanatos, Warden of Dis. Thanatos, Warden of Dis, the son of night and darkness. Thanatos supports the rest of the deities of Hades in their, duty, in their duties. Filling whatever need is required. The God of endings. He sees all things through the completions. Through to completion. Serving those who require service. In line with the ultimate goals of the realm and its master. Thanatos teaches us that it is not always leadership where satisfaction and worthiness is found. There is often greater satisfaction in seeing a good thing completed for others. Than in, them in chasing glory, fame, or credit. Done, after all, is better than perfect. His domains are completion, support, and expendency. Shaker Rebel's message for this full moon in Taurus, November 19, 2021. What you want, wants you. What you want, wants you. Do you dare to believe what you want? Is also wanting you. The genuine desires of your heart are this and are the sacred purpose of the soul, swathered or swathed in pleasure. Yet, if you have been shamed, judged, or made for to guilt over, or denied your natural desires or pleasures in any way, you may have developed a very tricky and complicated relationship with the, the yearnings of your heart. We often learn to distrust our own desires and be come to believe that they are something to be overcome or avoided. We may even try to want second best, disbelieving that we are worthy of our first choice of what we really genuinely want and would fulfill us deeply. Perhaps we have conditioned ourselves to believe that getting what we want is for others, not us. The oracle comes with a healing message for you. First, trust in what you truly want, not the substitutions and make-dos, but what would truly bring a sense of passionate, playful purpose and fulfillment to your life. You might not know anything more than I want to see, or I want to write, or I want to help animals, or I want to paint. Start with what you know and hold it in your heart as you do the healing process below. If you generally do not know what your heart wants, you will very much enjoy the process of exploring your desires by making gentle and persistent inquiries of yourself. Ask yourself what is it, what it is that truly moves you. Give this matter consistent attention. 
without forcing a response. Your answers may come in a sudden flood or slowly over time. As you get to know your general desires and give yourself permission to feel and receive them, a powerful sequence is set in motion from the depths of the universe. Your desire hurdles its way towards you as the perfect manifestation. It is coming to you even now, manifesting itself as the best situation in a relationship or circumstances to bring fulfillment to your heart, radiance to your life path, and a creative awakening. So don't give up. Keep dreaming of your fulfillment, but don't imagine it as always awaiting you in some distant future. Instead, play with what it will feel like to be so fulfilled right now. How will you feel different? Will you be more grateful, more peaceful, and content, more confident, more trusting of your ability to create and in the loving responsiveness of this wild universe? Cultivate those feelings. Get to feel what general, genuine desire and the meaning of that desire. That can then generate yet new desire is like for you. Give yourself permission to go there right now. Remember that if you have people in your life who are shutting you down, suggesting that what you want is not possible or that you are aiming too high, then they need, they need this healing too. Perhaps you can inspire them by giving yourself permission to heal. This will naturally open them to the idea that they could give themselves permission to know and fulfill their unique desires too. Whatever, whether someone chooses to be inspired by you or to be Fearful of your innate creative power is completely up to them. This oracle brings you the message that whether you see it coming or not, your desire is already on its way to you. It's closer than you think, and soon you will be able to see it, touch it, feel it, and enjoy it. You will then become inspired for your next manifestation based on the true desires of your heart. You know, this is very interesting. We've got three 16s there. I don't know if you saw them, like 16 here, 16 here, and 16 here. I was like, whoa, 316, 316, 316, 316, huh? 316, right? So maybe some uh, significance. Of that. Let's see, let's get some tarot. Let's get the tarot to tell us more about this full moon and Taurus. You know, lunar eclipse, full moon eclipse for November 19th, 2021. All right. First, we got Ace of Pentacles in reverse, huh? Huh. We don't know our power, we don't know our, uh, the value or what we want wants us or our own worth or what we perceive as valuable or worth something is actually not so we have some kind of illusion here of value worth i mean i think i see it all over on all angles and aspects of our communities they may be holding something of value that's from the age of pisces and needs to be let go I think all sides, all angles, all perceptions of our society has that problem. They, everybody is having a hard time letting go of Pisces, the age of Pisces, and move into the full of age of Aquarius. I mean, you can see it when people are like, it's not even the age of Aquarius yet. Like, well, obviously you're having a hard time letting go because you don't even want to try to think about it. You just want to jump to conclusions and deny it right away. So... I tend to believe the ages that overlap each other in, in a transitional period where it transitions from one age to the next. So that's why you have little um, traits or attributes of each sign during each period. Like electricity is a trait or attribute of Aquarius. How long have we had electricity? Ben Franklin discovered electricity supposedly like that you could like maybe ground it, use it in some way potentially, because he knew about the Egyptian teachings and was connected with the Illuminati and Freemason knowledge and they had a lot of knowledge that was locked away and hidden from public because people were so attached to their religions. Hmm, interesting, right? What else we got? Three of Wands in reverse. There's a lot, a lot of 
thing and you're doing this great, wonderful self work and higher self. And, and, and but see, if it was upright, I'd be like, totally, but no, you're in reverse. You think you're doing it, but you're really not. You're, you're, you're bringing up Age of Pisces crap again, not letting go. I mean, I understand. It's hard to let go fast. I mean, we all experienced it in school, right? Change and transformation or something happened. And everybody's like, no. And then, you know, after it was all said and done in a year or two, it was no big deal, right? It was like, whatever, who cares? I don't know. One, burning passion and desire to try to fix it all, but you're upside down with what you're really doing. You're not building anything. You're just being delusional. Strength. Hmm. You know, there's a message of strength here. We have to be strong. We can't give in. We've we got to hold the line. Keep people moving forward towards the new age. Can't go back. You know? No matter how bad you want to reference old traditions or old beliefs, because you have to have the strength to move forward. You have to have the strength to believe that maybe there there's some truth that is hidden from you and whatever you believe. Uh, the hermit in reverse. Um, hmm. Let me look at this card a little bit more because I think it's upside here. There there is some kind of value here, worth. The hermit kind of sees it, but he's not like. Holding a deer or close to him, just letting it sit there. So this makes me think of Gandalf when he didn't know what the ring was and he went and had to go learn about it. I mean, look, that could be a full moon. Look at the starlight. Well, the moon's up here, my bad. The moon's over here. Oh, you probably can't even see where I'm looking at. The moon's over here, so there's a star, here's the sun, this must be the North Star. That's on his foot, or near his foot. He's meditating. But it's in reverse. People are learning from the past, but they don't want to transition it to the, the true understanding from an age of Aquarius understanding. They want to hold on to that. Piscean perspective. You know, there's a lot of good traits or attributes from Pisces as far as like love and forgiveness and compassion and stuff like that. But there's also the darker side of delusion, not, you know, and fish out of water, right? Kind of thing. But Aquarius is, is the water bears, so. It's the age of man, I guess. There's a lot. Of, maybe it, it's, I just got to give people time. It, it, let them continue doing the work. You know, we got four or five years till the next phase of this. Or I should say it's like phase two, chapter one. You know what I mean? That's where we're at. Phase two, chapter one. Uh, Nine of Wands, there's the Leo King again. It's his burning passion defending who, what he believes in. With his strength and passion and righteousness. He's getting a little frustrated. We can all tell. Right? Symbolic. Nine of Swords again, but this time it's not in reverse. Unexpected. There's a serpent. I'm about to. I put together a PowerPoint about the Ophiuchus Scorpio connection.
Those who, those who thought the reptile was going to protect him have been betrayed. Snake is not going to protect him. Snake will just get you as quick as you let go of it after it bites you. High Priestess. You know, the High Priestess came up for Leo in the December reading for the spiritual aspect of the High Priestess is also very uh, connected to the moon, the yin yang, because the yin yang um, is like the sun and the moon. You know, the sun does have a uh, A connection to the black. Okay. So like when a sun explodes, it potentially can become a black hole, right? So or a sun. Not necessarily our sun. But a star can turn into a black hole. Uh, the chariot in reverse, more the continuation of the divide and conquer, just continuing. I don't think it's over yet. Hmm. This is tricky. Give us more clarification, more specific. The tower. Okay, that is, okay. So the cherry in reverse with the tower here, the all seeing eye prepared for the, the empire to fall. A completion with the full moon in Taurus. Remember, conclusions are within reach. I do see major, major events come potentially coming in the next couple of weeks. Right, maybe right after Thanksgiving or right before Thanksgiving. Um, we do have. Um, Supreme Court stuff going on. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's kind of like, and then this happened with Matt, and then this and that, and they did this, and then that, and then they got caught doing this, and then they got caught lying about it. A lot of that going on, isn't there? But there, they have, we have uh, the people. Like humanity, not those who are aligned with the corruption of power or in the corruption of power. I'm talking about the uh, builders, regardless of what race or whatever you believe. The builders, the true builders, the ones who built the country off their blood and sweat and tears, or all countries and all across the world. They uh, have lost what they built to the corruption of the power. And those who are corrupted into power are going to have to deal with the, the destruction of what we built for them. And it wasn't for them. It was for us. But they, they corrupted and took over. I mean, when you, when you say for them, you got to understand we allowed it, right? So in, in a sense, kind of, it was for them. Maybe it was a setup by us to allow them to be up in their towers and as they crumble and fall, house of cards, thinking they're in control when <laughs> little do they know we set it all up for them to fall apart. And 
it was a trap. We know that most things have to come to an end. I mean, you know, can't last forever, right? Five of Pentacles in reverse. So this isn't so bad because if it was upright, that would, that would show a lot of suffering. But it's in reverse. So maybe we come out of the suffering. Maybe our the suffering isn't going to be as bad as we people are saying. Because this, this has to do with value, right? And strength because it's in reverse, right? The swords. I feel like their plan A didn't work. Their plan B didn't quite work. Their plan C is to have chaos and they're going to be the ones that get the swords thrown at them while their towers are falling and their crowns fall off. Because they're not in alignment. They, say, they, they believe they have all the power and control and they were duped into believing their own manipulation and lies. More reminiscence of Age of Pisces, Dark Side. Pisces and the Dark Side like to believe their own BS from time to time. Two of Pentacles in reverse. So there's a serpent here. He's walking on water. He's going to get bit by the snake again. Over here. More illusion. More deception. I don't know if I should continue because this is pretty much those on top are gonna. You know, I hope those who know what's really going on, when those who are aligned with the tower and the power, and it's falling apart around them, and they're like, come crying to us about, oh, oh my bad. We have to not allow them to just. To go back to the way it was, we have to let them know, hey, we're not gonna, we're gonna keep our eye on you. We're not gonna trust you. We're not gonna put up with the shit you did before. You gotta be in the service of others for a long time to prove. Maybe in a couple, you know, three or four lifetimes, three or four generations, you're gonna have to be in service of others to prove that you're not gonna do what you did before. You know, as a punishment. And I don't want them enslaved. I don't want them in prison. I just want them to do it in service of others. A lot of them have a lot of power and wealth. A lot of manipulative control over things. So be in service of others instead of yourself. Four of Cups. That's High Priestess stuff right there. With the Five of Pentacles. We're going to have to hold the strength as humanity moves forward in the age of Aquarius. Because this is the this is an Aquarius card, if you think about it. The water bearer may be having a, a break or a rest and contemplating how much he's done. And he has, it feels like he hasn't done it all. That, that does feel like an Aquarius stuff, right? All these emotions. Trying to, you know... Build a better future. I mean, most I believe eighty to ninety percent of people want a better future. Now, how about they? How they go about it? That might be the problem, right? That might be the where they're you know thinking they're doing something good when they're really not. You know what I mean? They're like, oh well, if I you know act this way or I allow them to just kill themselves, which I don't think that's very like the magician. That's right here. <clears throat> That's right here, actually. Because the Hermit, too. The Hermit, the High Priestess, and the Nine of Wands right here is the Magician. There are those who can see. And they have the tools. And they're balanced with their tools. They're not over... Um, you know, they're not using too much of one thing. They have a good balance of tools. They have the, the beautiful... Blossoming <clears throat> fragrance, right? They're like, oh, you thought, you know what? So what if you're ugly? You know what I mean? Doesn't mean you don't deserve to be loved, right? So what if you were stupid? Doesn't mean you don't deserve to be heard. 
know. You don't just tell a stupid person how to think. You listen to them. Try to help them, right? So, I don't. I feel like this is being pretty much concluded here. We got Princess of Swords. She's come, she came up last time, too. What do you think? We think we got five of swords. Was it five of swords? Nine of swords. Five of pentacles. Tower up here. Yeah, I think it's right here somewhere with the ace of pentacles in reverse. Princess of Pentacles swords in reverse. Thinking she's doing the right thing with her power and her vision and her connections and her. And she's. Mis misguided or misinformed or believing the wrong thing. Remember, this is a conclusion. The tower did come up. Something's going to happen. I mean, it's, it's in our media. It's all across the world. People are on the verge of exploding in one way or the other. On all angles and aspects of society. The right, the left, the powerful, the weak, the, the rich, the poor, the rich, the races, the different races. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of racial pride that is going to be reminiscent of the Hitler kind of mentality of all, our race is the best race and all the others suck. So it's very Hitlerist, Hitler mentality, right? The syphilis has gone to your head. The poison, the corona. It's all in your head. The crown, which is right here. The crown, corona. Corona. Hello. <laughs> you know, if you're in the right place at the right time, you'll be fine. If you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, you got all stuff, got stuff to deal with. And I think it's too late to like try to reposition yourself. Remember. Uh, the message from the oracles. You gotta surrender to the divine. You gotta be a, the magician. You gotta know what's. You gotta stop believing the power, this the uh, established power, because that's where corrupt corruption is. Corruption is an established power. Corruption loves to be in control. Corruption doesn't run down here rebelling. That's not where corruption runs. Corruption is, and it, and it's, and it hasn't gone away. It's not okay. Look, so a lot of people are like rebels. They associate rebels with criminals, like dark evil. And that's the age of Pisces dark side thing. Okay? Real rebels care and have compassion for their people and want the best for everybody. They don't want to control and rule and use some old testament, old scriptures justify the way they treat people then you they don't use manipulation of your connection with God to control you to keep you to put a pacifier in your mouth and keep you go, uh, doing things that won't really freaking do anything for society keep you in a selfish mentality of well just do this and you'll get what you want just do this and you know people will or things will work out for you if you just do what you need to do. That's reflecting back selfishness. That it really is. It's reflecting back to the person 
what they want by doing something for themselves. To truly be in service of others is to say, I don't care what I get. I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this for everyone. That's, that's a rebel. Rebel doesn't want anything for themselves. They just, they want it for everyone else. Okay? Rebel doesn't mean, oh, you're, you don't want law and order. That's actually exactly what they want. They want that law and order is about being fair and just. The rebel wants things to be fair and just. That's why he's rebelling because it doesn't feel like it's fair. It doesn't feel like there's just justice. So he's acting out because it's it's not fair. You see what I'm saying? Not. Oh, I'm your lord of your land or your business. I'm the business owner, lord of the land. It's the same mentality. Just because it evolved to a different a way of looking or a different system doesn't mean it's any less of a freaking mentality or spiritual connection. But with your shadow controlling you. Your shadow is supposed to defend you, not control you. You're supposed to control the shadow to protect, not the other way around. Protect the shadow to control you. See what I'm saying? But anyway, so that was the full moon in Taurus. November 19, 2021. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next moon.